Down the weapon, shot, woman. Shot, shot, Put it down. From the ops, I will shoot you. The Brooklyn streets. Let's open this thing up and see what's wrong with it. And see if we can fix it. So what we're going to do is unplug the battery. See how much power this thing's using. Get the multimeter. Power supply software up on the screen. Plug it in. Plug it in. Plug it in. We're taking 40 milliamps, no power, not 24, which is interesting because 24 milliamps is usually what happens when PM Sleep S4 L is missing. Boomer can't find resistor. Where resistor? Why? XDP. This is XDP something. This doesn't sound like it. This goes to anything. Also, that is that actually that's not corrosion. That looks like conformal coating. Aha! Yes, yes, I found it. What are you? You just want to say boomer a lot, don't you? <laughs> you figured me out. Yeah. Okay. What is this thing? What does this thing do? Is going to be responsible for if all says power good is present and PM sleep S3L is present, which actually needs to be present to create SR rails that I believe are required to get all says power good to begin with, then you get CPU VCT power good. But I, I don't think we're there yet, because if we're taking 40 milliamps, we're not really in an SO state. We're in an S4 state, or an S5 state. However, we're not taking that. We're taking 40 to 60 milliamps, so maybe all this chip needs is a little reflow. Wouldn't that be something? Oh my god, Paul would kill me. If he's watching this, he's going to kill me. If Paul is at home, he will kill me! If he's... If reflowing this chip makes this work again, I am in for such a shitstorm when he shows up tomorrow. Uh, also, what the hell was that edge bonding? It wasn't even touching a chip. that which pin is that that's corroded pin that's corroded is pin six six ah oh, gross is there a reason you don't use compressed air on the board to get all the hair and dust off because then the hair and dust goes into the air, and after it goes into the air, it goes into my body, and after it goes into my body, it goes into my soul. Hey, hey. Hello, Cindy. Uh, what? Uh, you got to get it by yourself. What? <laughs> Hello, Cindy. How are you doing this evening? Was not. I would never talk smack about you and. Am I about to be shot? Put it down! I will shoot you! Lewis, congrats on the location. My wife says... My wife says she loves it when you say pee-pee bus. She is watching. Please say pee-pee bus.
Peepee Bus. So it looks like the issue that we were having in this MacBook Air motherboard, the A20-0165, that goes into the 2015, 2016, A1466, 13 inch MacBook Air, is that it was taking 4 to 60 milliamps, which means that most of our S5 and S4 rails are likely present, but we're missing the SO rails. And the issue that we're having here is that even though PM Sleep S3O is partially present and allowing the SO rails to turn on, even though all says power good was present, meaning that most of the sub rails were turning on, it was not sending out the signal called CPU VCT power good, which is going to allow the rest of the system to turn on. If the CPU power rail doesn't turn on, we're never going to get fan spin, we're never going to get the rest of the motion in the system going, and that was not turning on because we had corrosion on U1930, which could potentially short PP1 VO5 SO to ground, potentially short PP5 ES5 intermittently, but also cause us to have issues with PM Sleep S3L, as well as with Alsys Power Good. If you short Alsys Power Good or PM Sleep S3L to ground, or you have corrosion in that area, then you're not only are you not going to be getting most of the SO rails to work, you're also not going to get CPU V core to work, which means you're not going to get CPU VCCST, which means the CPU is not going to turn on, which means the CPU is not going to request the proper voltage, and then it's not going to work. No, I meant CPU is not going to request the power of proper voltage, and then it's not going to work. But now it does, and we have a fan spin. <laughs> that is very poor weapon grip. What? I'll have you know that I learned everything on how to grip a weapon from watching Nerf videos on YouTube. Perfect accuracy. Yeah, but you know, you're lugging around, you're lugging around, Jams easily. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. Lost in this moment is where I want to 